In the previous video we showed how to set up a dialog component that had repeating sections. Uh, in this video we're going to show how you can add uh, client-side calc fields uh, to perform arithmetic on the uh, data as it's entered into the component. So clearly uh, what you would want is to define extended total as uh, price times quantity so that as the user was uh, entering line items uh, um, he got a real uh, real-time uh, indication of what the uh, line item total was but you'd also like a summary value to be computed uh, on the uh, client side uh, to compute the uh, the invoice total so let's go ahead now and show how that can be done so I'll go back now to design mode and then let's uh, switch our label rule back to uh, first row only and now I'm going to go to the extended total field and I'm going to define a client-side calc field um, over here as um, price times quantity. So I'll go there and uh, insert field and I'll choose price times um, quantity. So now we've basically got uh, price times quantity being computed uh, for each line item that, that uh, is being entered and now I'm going to go to the repeating section um, uh, container over here and uh, actually let's just uh, check it out first before we go any further so I'll go there and type in say 2 and then type in 6 and then you can see there we have our uh, price times quantity so we'll go back to design mode right now and uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to indicate here um, in the repeating uh, section uh, uh, property error here that I'd like to compute summary values. So now um, alpha 5 is going to compute a summary value for this extended total uh, summarizing this value for all of the rows in the repeating section. So now what I'm going to do is um, actually I can see now that I need a subtotal field. So let's go here to uh, controls and add a, uh, a new control so we'll go there and we'll type in subtotal which we'll make into a numeric field and uh, let's move that up and now we'll go to subtotal and we'll make this into a calc field um, and uh, we'll bring this up and we'll go and see our inserted fields here and you can see that what we have is um, uh, the system fields now. So the, we specified that we wanted summary values on the extended total field and you can see that alpha 5 is now going to be computing all of the following summary values. So what I want is the total. So I'm going to now, so what this means now is that I'm setting subtotal to this um, system field summary.extendedtotal.total. So that means that this value here will be the the total of the extended total field for all rows in the uh, summary section. So let's go ahead now and uh, check out that. So I'll go there and type in say 2 and 3. So now we have 6 and you can see our subtotal there is 6. Now I'll type in say uh, 4 and 7 and that's 28 and 6 is 34 and you can see there we have 34. So and now I could go here to tax and say that that was equal to say 5% of this 34 number over there, uh, do some calculation for shipping and then get grand total as well. So uh, what I've shown here is that doing client-side calculations on the dialog control both for um, rows within the uh, repeating section and then for columns across all rows in the repeating section is extremely easy. Uh, thanks very much.